Okay. <clears throat> my name is Ibrahim Ahmed Noonan, formerly Michael Peter Dennis Noonan. I was born in the Republic of Ireland in a city called Waterford City. And I have been uh, now, alhamdulillah, a Muslim 18 years, an Ahmadi Muslim 18 years. Okay. Um, how did you become an Ahmadi Muslim? Um, how I became an Ahmadi Muslim, uh, well, it's a long story, but I'll try to summarize it. Basically, I was born from a very uh, staunch Roman Catholic family. I had studied theology. Uh, I, through my study of theology, I came across various other religions, because in, as in theology, you have to study other religions. I came across Islam. So after completing my studies, when I moved to London, I embarked on other studies which to advance my knowledge of uh, uh, Islam. So I went and met other Muslims and I went to various mosques. From there, uh, I met lots of friends who were from different uh, uh, sects of within Islam, Shia and, and Khshbandi and uh, Sufi. Uh, and in fact, through a colleague at a wedding, I was introduced to an Ahmadi because uh, there was a debate going on between the two particular Muslims uh, about the advent of uh, Hazrat Isa, salam, Hazrat Jesus, peace be upon him. Uh, after hearing the debate, I was more impressed with uh, who, who now I know to be an Ahmadi of his opinion of how the second advent should take place. Um, from there, I read books on Ahmadiyyat, um, particularly Jesus in India, Where Did Jesus Die? And um, the other book was called Tomb of Jesus. Now, because I had studied theology and I knew Bible quite well, these books convinced me that there was some logic behind the possibility of uh, Jesus Christ not dying on the cross, and that in fact he had survived and went in search of the different tribes of Israel. Um, from there, basically, I had some discussions uh, from a number of months with Ahmadis about the differences uh, between uh, the, uh, the other Muslims' opinion of Hazrat Isa Salam and their opinion. And at the same time, I was discussing with ministers and reverends who I knew through a church that I was belonged to at that time. But in the end, <coughs> I uh, actually, from a logic, logical point of view, I decided that Ahmadiyyat seemed to possess truth. Uh, but it was after that where I was put under a little bit of pressure from my family in Ireland uh, that I had accepted Islam and I had become a Muslim and I had left my tra family tradition, which is Roman Catholicism. Uh, they had expected me to become a priest. They were hoping that that's what my path should have been, uh, hence, because I had studied theology. Um, it was actually um, a dream in the end, I don't know if uh, it was a dream in the end that uh, showed to me that uh, Ahmadiyyat was the truth. And that was where I had seen in a dream that uh, I was in a church praying with all other uh, Christians. Uh, I should point out that I actually did like that either Jesus is true or Prophet Muhammad is true. And in this dream I had seen that I was praying in a church with other Christians and I stood up and I turned to the east and I went Allahu Akbar and I fell inside the So from that I uh, understood that Islam is where I should follow and that's the path I should take. And, and that's it in, in, in a brief how I became Ahmadi Muslim. Okay. Um, <coughs> from your day-to-day -day practice of Islam, how has it benefited you? Well, I think the greatest benefit for me is my uh, developing my relationship with Allah. Uh, Islam has brought me closer to a cre my Creator than, than and I had been when I was a Christian. When I was a Christian, I had felt no uh, spiritual improvements. And even though I, I, I regarded myself uh, a good Christian, but the spiritual aspect or that 
that uh, connection, that relationship with God was not there. And, he, and I was a regular, I was a church goer. I was a person that went to church every day and prayed every day. But Islam, from the moment that I had accepted, the moment that I had accepted the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was a Prophet of Allah, and that uh, the Quran was the word of Allah, within a very short time I started noticing that my life was changing spiritually and that my relationship with God was getting stronger. So that is probably the biggest uh, benefit for me becoming a Muslim. Okay. Has Islam changed your perspective of your own life? Um, yes, of course it has. I mean the perspective in the sense that my life is more meaningful. Uh, whereas before I used to get up in the morning and think about worldly things. Now when I get up in the morning I think about Allah and I think about how to serve humanity, how to help serve my fellow human beings, and one of them being that uh, conveying the message of Islam. Uh, in that sense, uh, uh, Islam has benefited a bit better. Can you tell me something about God and what is God like? What is God like? That's a very interesting question. For me, uh, God is that internal light uh, which. Um, I, when I pray or when I wake up, I, I feel his presence everywhere. And this is how God is to me. Uh, uh, even though I don't think that's a very just uh, description of God, because we can't really give a description of God. But I would say that he's like a warm friend who I know is with me at every moment and every second of the day when I need him. Okay. But finally, for somebody who's researching this law, <coughs> what's the, what would advice would you give? researching Islam I think uh, there's two ways either you would you read the Holy Quran with an open mind uh, taking into consideration that it's a book of revelation it's not a book of stories it's not a book of uh, myths it's a book of actual revelation and you as long as you study that with an open mind that's one thing but I would say the other thing is to study the life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam his life and how he was the actual Quran in action and in deed. And I think uh, that's uh, people should research. From an Ahmadiyya point of view, then they will have to research uh, also the Imam Mahdi, Prophet Muhammad of Ghadian, because he will enhance their understanding of Islam. Okay, this might be a bit of a repeat, but what's uh, the secret of happiness according to, according to your understanding? Excuse me, sorry? The secret of happiness according to your understanding so far. Uh, secret of happiness is, for me, it has to be my relationship with God, with Allah. That is the happiness. Because anyone who has any inclination or any any sort of response or relationship with Allah, and they feel it, nothing can compare to that uh, that uh, happiness, or that that uh, spirituality. Uh, that I would say the secret of happiness is your relationship with Allah. Okay. Is there anything else that you would have, because we're going to cut this anyway. No, no, no. Anything?